a model train for Christmas, the train they bought for the kid, right? ABC's Charles Thomas has met a couple of men who have carried their particular passion for trains a step further than most. Computer technician Dave Johnson can hardly wait to leave work and go play with his trains. But this is not a toy. Johnson is part owner of the Iowa Traction Railroad, nine whole miles of rickety track between Mason City and Clear Lake, Iowa. My real goal in life was I wanted to be a steam locomotive engineer. Dave's partner is Lynn Hawbaker, another self-confessed train nut. Together, they represent a new breed of railroad owner, the Moonlighter. Government deregulation has made it possible to buy and operate small railroads without unions and red tape. So with only two full-time employees, Dave and Lynn spend nights and weekends running a railroad. Somebody would have told me this 10 years ago, I would have called the little men in their white coats to <laughs> come and get me. They bought the track and five ancient locomotives for $319,000. They pay off their loan and meet expenses hauling freight. I'm going to take it up about four or five. The Interstate Commerce Commission says the 92-year-old traction line is the oldest commercial freight railroad of its kind. That means few spare parts and plenty of headaches. The thing about a model railroad is if you have a wreck, you can... You know, turn off the lights and go eat supper. <laughs> when you get into the real thing, you have to solve the problems. So for now, the railroad museums will have to wait for the Iowa traction line because Dave and Lynn are still working and playing with their trains. Charles Thomas, ABC News, Mason City, Iowa. And that is our report on...